Hi everyone, this is Nathan from theebookreader.com. For this video review, I've got the Notion Ink Atom. This is the Pixel Chi 3G model. So let me show you a couple of things with the hardware real quick. Over here on the side, we've got headphone jack, uh, um, AC charger. This is a back button. There's also one on the front. This is the USB HDMI port. Um, this is the power button. This is the speaker. And on the other side, it's just got another USB, mini USB, and the volume. Then down here, there's a slot for a SIM card and the micro SD card. This thing's actually kind of takes some getting used to. You got to push in the center and then slide it that way, and then sort of swivel it. Okay, so this is the Atom's home screen. So what's different about the Atom from other Android tablets is it has like um, a completely different um, home menu interface right here. It's called Eden. It's got different leafs you can set up here, and you access your apps by going right here. So then, if you say you want to take your calendar. You can set it over here to be a leaf. Um, so it's kind of set up, the Atom is set up for multitasking in that way. So like if you use the browser, you can use the browser right inside the leaf here as well as you're like checking calendar. You can, so it's set up for multitasking like that. But the problem is, is like 99.9% .9 of apps aren't set up for leafs. So um, for the most part, you're going to be using the regular Android interface. You can go up here to, let me get rid of this. That's the back button. Um, that's the menu button. So you close panels this way. And then that's the home. And if you hold home, it'll go into this mode. And then that's search. If you hold search, since this is the Pixel Chi model, it'll turn off the backlight. I'll do a different video review for this. I'll go outside and show you how this works. So this is um, for bright light conditions. It actually works pretty good. I'm liking it. So um, some of the earlier reviews were saying that the Pixel Chi screens weren't that great, but I'm certainly not seeing that. It's, um, it looks like a regular LCD screen. It's the resolution's not really high at uh, 12 or uh, 1024 by 600, so you're not getting a huge pixel density is some of the other tablets, so you're, that's probably the difference most people would notice. But um, overall, it's pretty it's a pretty good screen. I'm liking it. Um, so like I said, there's a, you get your app drawer going like this, and you slide through here. So the uh, Atom has a Tegra 2 dual-core dual core processor, and it's really smooth, really fast. It'll be getting updated to Android Honeycomb. This is 2.2, Android 2.2 kind of right now. Um, so it's got a different uh, setup. Um, I think they're up to grading to Honeycomb here in the next two months, so I'll do a video for that, and it'll be a completely different device at that point, because Honeycomb's got a completely different setup. Um, I don't know how they'll integrate Eden in with that, because Honeycomb's kind of got its own widgets and stuff like that, but um, we'll see. Okay, so I installed a few apps on here. It comes with some base apps. Um, I'll do a different review for hacking and putting the Android market on here, so I'm just going to do some basic apps to show you right here. Um, so let me show you the web browser first. They have their own web browser that they designed. I'm finding that it actually works pretty decent. You got your stuff over here, so if you hold this, you can get up, uh, open a new tab or whatever, and then use your forward and back buttons. Um, search, refresh, and this is bookmarks. I'm kind of at an angle here. This touch screen actually works really well, but over here at this angle, I kind of have some problems sometimes. I should use my left hand. So if you bring up menu, you get up uh, options for kill browser, page info, downloads, Okay, so you get a lot of options here with the, the browser. Let me go to a web page here. Let me go to my site. So this is the Notion Inc. Um, okay, let me show you something else real quick. What's cool about the USBs? You can plug in if you have a wireless. Set up a wireless mouse. Um, keyboard. So that's definitely one cool thing about the Atom is you can um, use your wireless components. I've been, I haven't messed with it much yet. You can use the um, arrows to go around, I've noticed. And um, home will take you home. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Scrolling is pretty dang smooth on this Atom. So let me see here. I haven't tried any on-screen stuff. Let me see what we do if we hold down. Mark link, you get the standard Android stuff. Double 
to have some. Okay, so let me think here. I'm pretty sure you can copy text if you come in here, select text. I have not really experimented a whole lot with the um, web browser yet. Like I said, you can come over here and do this. I'm used to using the HD browser, so it's uh, kind of a learning experience using a different one here. But um, So let me show you some other stuff here. We'll go back home. So I installed Launcher Pro, so that's why this comes up. Normally it'll just go to this. I'll show you Launcher Pro in a second. Okay, so uh, a couple other apps you got here, of course, is the... There's this swivel camera up here for doing video chat and such. You can also take pictures with it. So, it loads up right here. And then you can take pictures or shoot a movie. I think I'll upload a video of it in action later to show you how um, how it works. It's a 3.2 megabyte camera. Okay, so 3.2 megabyte, or megapixel, sorry. Okay, so um, other things, you got contacts, the calendar. I know she needs some calendar set up here. Let's go back to home here. Sound recorder. So these ones came on, the clock. Pre-installed it. Notion Inc's got their own mail program. I haven't tried it yet. I just got this thing yesterday. So I installed Google Maps. That works well. They also have their own map program, but I don't know why you'd reinvent the wheel when Google Maps has got it pretty much down. There's also Video Player, Quick Office, File Sniffer. That's their... This is a cool program for... This is their, um, you know, their file directory. The, um, for installing apps and whatnot. You just come in here, tap on an app. Install. So let me show you a test movie real quick. I got a few test movies I set up from using Handbrake right here. Let me show you something real quick. Video player works well. Of course, you got the HDMI port, so you can hook it up to your computer, TV if you want to. Video play is really smooth, of course, with the Tegra 2 processor and Notion Inc. hardware. Definitely good for video. Um, you've got um, pictures, all the standard stuff for Android. They have this um, drawing app. I'm not too... Well, it's kind of... You can do text as well. But I haven't... Uh, I'm not exactly artistically inclined, so I'm not going to mess with this one much. So the touchscreen is super responsive. I haven't had any issues at all with like anything not working right with the touchscreen. Uh, works pretty smooth. Scrolling is very smooth. So let me show you... I have got some of these other apps that comes with Facebook, um, calculator, got their own calculator, whatever. Um, so I installed a couple of these other apps here, like the Kindle app. It works really well. This is actually the first device I've tested that can scroll through the archived items smoothly. All the other devices I've tried have a little bit of problems scrolling through all this. I can use this over here, too. Okay. So it's the same Kindle app as anywhere else, so I'm not going to show you the features. Of course, then there's... Um, this app works really well, I've found. It's the Atomic Viewer app. It's a lot faster than other um, devices. Take a couple seconds to load pages. This one's really fast. Has landscape mode too. We gotta manually turn it. Okay, so a couple of other details I've installed here. My favorite app for EPUB is this one, of course. So I'll show you a couple of things with the Atom. I kind of like the two-page mode. One thing I haven't showed you yet, see this bar up here? It gets in the way a lot of times. What you do to get rid of it is you just tap the the battery icon. Once again, I'm at an odd angle, so here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this is the Aldeco reading app. You can change the background color, adjust brightness, just by going right here. And then, of course, you turn the backlight off. Outside reading works pretty good. Okay, so... Of course, it's got the other landscape, the other orientation. I figure um, the Adam's landscape like this with the narrow screen is kind of cool like that. But I find, uh, you see, it's got this rounded edge. I didn't really talk about this. It's really comfortable to hold that rounded edge. But, I mean, just the way the screen is, I'm used to using it in landscape most of the time, so you can't really, you're holding it like this more instead of by that thing. 
Okay, so. Okay, a couple other things with the Atom. It works really good for installing, for playing games, obviously. It's, um, it's got a fast processor and it can handle these games well. 3D games to play. Speakers are really good. This is probably the best tablet as far as speakers I've gotten. They got that sort of built-in little area right there, so they can they're louder. They have a better sound than pretty much any other portable device that I've tested. So that's one plus with that. That's for sure. Okay, let's get out of here. Back, 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 back. Okay. Like I said, you got that. Like um, you adjust your settings. Just doing here. So, um, like I said, um, Eden, it's still a work in progress. I mean, it's, it's a cool concept here. I mean, but there's not very many apps that are going to be able to use Leafs. I mean, just the ones that Notion is set up for it, pretty much. So, I mean, it's kind of like I installed um, Launcher Pro. I have not set it up yet, but this is like more of a standard Android, you know, where you got the different home screens right here. You can set up all your apps on here where you want them by just... Going like so, you can change the background. Okay, so you can install other news apps. And I kind of like the Time Mobile app. It's kind of got a nice layout for tablets. In landscape mode, you got this little PS right here. So let's go to the different section. Go to videos. I'll show you some videos real quick. So that's just a couple of things you can do on the Notion Ink Atom. Make sure to check out the ebookreader.com. I'm going to have a full written review. I'm going to put up some first impressions along with this video. And then I'm going to do some subsequent videos. I'm going to compare it to the Kindle. I'm going to do some outside viewing and, and compare it to some higher quality um, tablets that have some little bit better screens like the Nook Color. So um, check back for those. Uh, thanks for watching.